Hey guys, we're back on Fallout 76 today and we are checking out teams. You see I have my lovely team here, Rifleman and Mango. Uh, we've already joined up, but first let me show you how we did that. First you go to start and then you go to social and you can go to social before you even start the game and you can join your friends from there. So I could actually go here and go to someone else and join them. I'll join their game and then I can invite them to a team once I'm in that game. So Rai, will you please leave the team again? <laughs> I know I keep making you do this for all my videos, wow. but I'll show how to invite once you do that. Um, in the meantime, let me explain that you can only have four people per team. Um, each server has 24 people plus their friends can join up to 36 people. He's <laughs> puking. Gross. <laughs> So let's say there's 24 people on my server, but Mango comes online and he's my friend and he wants to play with me. As long as there's not more than 36, he can still join. We share XP and stuff. Are you putting us in a box? Fortnite tactics! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and teams, they can help you build in your camp, as you can see. I've been boxed in in my own camp. Thanks. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for the free wood scraps. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so when we're out exploring and we see different containers on the ground, um, we can, like, the, our stash boxes are separate, but let's say this was um, a first aid box and I had a stim pack in it. Mango might be able to get a stim pack and a buff out, or Ryan might go up to it and it might be empty entirely. So everybody gets different stuff for boxes and stuff, but the stuff that's like laying on the ground, so stuff that you would see like on shelves and like junk items, like fuel tanks and duct tape and stuff that's laying about, you all share that. Or you don't share that rather, like it's all the same items for people. So if I go up to it and I pick up the duct tape before Ryan gets to it, he can't pick it up and vice versa. So let's say you're traveling somewhere and it's not just teams that can do this too. Anybody can take the stuff that's lying about you might go somewhere where there's a lot of people and somebody else will have already looted the area and it kind of stinks because you can only get stuff out of the boxes, not on the shelves and stuff. Um, you'll see that on the screen here, we got Rifleman has a one next to his name. That's because we're sharing perk cards. I am going to go, oops, not photo mode. Go to my perks. You'll see this inspirational here is the one that Ryan's sharing. And he needed three points of charisma, like I do, to share a one-point perk card so I can share hacker. But if I wanted to share gunsmith, it'll say no, because you need at least three points of charisma for each perk point of the card to be shared. So I'm also going to show you guys I'm going to go somewhere else. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck have you done now? <laughs> okay. I'm going to go somewhere else. And then for some crazy reason, I'm going to try fast traveling back to those fucktards. And... <laughs> oh, hi, random person. Don't hurt me. I'm nice. Okay, so I'm going to fast travel back to Ryan, which I can do for free because he's on my team. Actually, I could also do it for free because he's my friend. He doesn't have to be on my team for it. But even if they're not your friend and they're on your team, you can tra fast travel to them for free. You don't have to spend any caps. Um, if we are nearby each other and we're working on a quest together, we share the XP and items. Same with events. You don't have to be on a team to share the event with someone. You can both work on an event. Uh, it's easier if you're on a team or if you have other people to help you, but you don't need to have other players to help you be on a team. Now, you notice I fast traveled to Ryan and actually put me like in the town closest to Ryan. Hey, Ryan, there's a support drop down here. Ooh. It put me in the town closest yeah, to Ryan. I was just gonna tell you guys you were talking. Instead, yeah, no yeah. problem. <laughs> um, you can also fast travel to your camp or your teammates' camps for free, which I'll do here in a second after I loot. What? It's in the pool. Yeah. What? Worth it. Okay, now I'm gonna fast travel back to my camp if I didn't over encumber myself. But I could also, actually, I'm going to go to Rifleman's camp. I can go over here to your camp for free. Uh, I awesome warn camp. you, my camp is not as equipped as your camp. <laughs> okay. It's going to be a box. <laughs> it's going to be a box, and it's going to be very empty. So I think it kind of stinks that you share the stuff that's laying about the world, because like, if you're working on a team together and one of you comes across plans, 
the first person to get the plans gets it. You know, you don't, you don't have a, you don't have a freaking anything in your camp. I told you, there's <laughs> all it is is a box. That's all I needed. I wanted to fast travel there, oh and I put God. it down. But basically, uh, if you got the point of the video back in the background of us screwing around, I think I've covered everything you really need to know for teams, but I'm sure there's questions that you guys are going to have, so feel free to ask them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope you guys subscribe. I really appreciate it when you do, and we'll see you guys next time. Oh, possum! I think I'm going to leave that. I'm going to end with opossum.